June 2nd, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Romans chapter 15 of the New Testament. But we who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak, and not just please ourselves. Let each of us please his neighbor for his good to build him up. For even Christ did not please himself, but just as it is written, the insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. For everything that was written in former times was written for our instruction, so that through endurance and through encouragement of the scriptures we may have hope. Now may the God of endurance and comfort give you unity with one another in accordance with Christ Jesus, so that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive one another then, just as Christ also received you to God's glory, for I tell you that Christ has become a servant of the circumcised on behalf of God's truth to confirm the promises made to the fathers, and thus the Gentiles glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, Because of this I will confess you among the Gentiles, and I will sing praises to your name. And again it says, Rejoice, O Gentiles, with his people. And again, Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, and let all the peoples praise him. And again Isaiah says, The root of Jesse will come, and the one who rises to rule over the Gentiles, in him will the Gentiles hope. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you believe in him, so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. But I myself am fully convinced about you, my brothers and sisters that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge and able to instruct one another. For I have written more boldly to you on some points so as to remind you, because of the grace given to me by God, to be a minister of Christ Jesus to the Gentiles. I serve the gospel of God like a priest, so that the Gentiles may become an acceptable offering, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. So I boast in Christ Jesus about the things that pertain to God, for I will not dare to speak of anything except what Christ has accomplished through me in order to bring about the obedience of the Gentiles, by word and deed, in the power of signs and wonders, in the power of the Spirit of God. So from Jerusalem, even as far as Illyricum, I have fully preached the gospel of Christ. And in this way I desire to preach where Christ has not been named, so as not to build on another person's foundation. But as it is written, those who were not told about him will see, and those who have not heard will understand. This is the reason I was often hindered from coming to you. But now there is nothing more to keep me in these regions, and I have for many years desired to come to you when I go to Spain. For I hope to visit you when I pass through, and that you will help me on my journey there, after I have enjoyed your company for a while. But now I go to Jerusalem to minister to the saints, for Macedonia and Achaia are pleased to make some contribution for the poor among the saints in Jerusalem. For they were pleased to do this, and indeed they are indebted to the Jerusalem saints. For if the Gentiles have shared in their spiritual things, they are obligated also to minister to them in material things. Therefore, after I have completed this and have safely delivered this bounty to them, I will set out for Spain by way of you, and I know that when I come to you, I will come in the fullness of Christ's blessing. Now I urge you, brothers and sisters, through our Lord Jesus Christ and through the love of the Spirit, to join fervently with me in prayer to God on my behalf. Pray that I may be rescued from those who are disobedient in Judea, and that my ministry in Jerusalem may be acceptable to the saints so that by God's will I may come to you with joy and be refreshed in your company. Now may the God of peace be with all of you. Amen. God, today I want to thank you for everyone that you have sent into my life to help me on my path of understanding what a Christian is and how to glorify you. I was just thinking reading through this passage how awesome it would have been to be Timothy underneath Paul, to be mentored by Paul. But then I got to thinking, there's all these amazing people that have come into my life who are like Paul, um, who are godly men and women 
who have helped me and taught me and structured my life and disciplined me when I needed it and who pray for me, which is just crazy awesome. And I just thank you for, for truly sending in armies into my life to help me shape what this world looks like for you. I have a ministry. I have many ministries, it seems, but I have this ministry right now, Daily Video Bible. And I'm very honored that I get to read your word and have other people who get to hear your word. That's just incredible to me. And I thank you for all the people that you've put in my life to help with this project. Uh, we have just beautiful, obedient people who help with the editing and the videos and the music and the social media. And it's just, in, it's just incredible and awe-inspiring to me how you answer prayers, God. So thank you for all the people you sent into my life to help shape who I am and, and what my faith looks like. I know so many people were sent into my life by you. And what's interesting is some of them weren't even Christians who helped shape my life to what it's been today. All for your glorification. Just like Paul said, it's not for his glory. It's for your glory, God. God, I just want to... To pray for everyone that they just take a moment today and thank those people who've come into their life who have helped them uh, in their struggles who've prayed for them who sat down and bi done bible studies with them who've read the bible with them maybe they sent them a bible uh, just all these opportunities to come come in at different points of people's lives and share with them just how amazing your love is uh, for us and to share in that God, thank you. Thank you for this uh, working body of Christ, albeit disjointed only because of our own sinful nature, but still filled with love and hope and bound together with your faithfulness. In your son's name I pray. Amen.